All right, guys. So I don't know how much of this I've shown already, but we've basically got an electrolysis bath here. And uh, what we're doing with it is we're actually removing the gold flake off of these um, CPUs and RAM sticks. It's what I've done is I've just got a bit of plastic in the bottom there on a bucket that's supporting a piece of stainless steel 316 sheet. We've got another piece of 316 stainless sheet over here. So we're using this as the shelf that we put all the copper and gold materials on. And as you can see, you can see them decaying quite rapidly. Now we've got it in like hyper mode at the moment and it's way too high. We're in 18 volts, 6 amps. So normally you want the voltage as low as you can possibly get it. But what we're doing at the moment is just making it so that we can really see the... You see stuff moving in there. Mainly for the purpose of this video, just to show you how well it actually will remove stuff. But with your voltage down low, you'll get a lot nicer plating. So you'll actually plate your copper over here really nicely. This is a copper sulfate bath that I've had going for a while now. Um, it's garden copper sulfate solution that I got from um, Bunnings. It's just a hardware store here in Australia. Um, what percentage is it? It does say. It says 25% copper is sulfate and sulfur 12%. So I'm sure you can get purer stuff in other places, but that was really cheap. That was like $16. And now that I've started this copper sulfate bucket, theoretically I should be able to keep it going with the electrolysis process. So we should be able to just keep uh, keep adding copper things to it and uh, moving over. We plate the copper out on this side and we can actually pull that out as a, uh, as a sheet. We cut it off that with a Stanley knife. which I have a bunch of in there. So you actually end up with what they call anode copper. It's actually burning the copper over there on that plate now. Let me pick that up. That's just a stainless steel plate. Yeah, you want the voltage as low as you can and the current as high as you can basically which obviously can be hard to achieve across the cell but there's no denying you can see that the gold is getting liberated from the cell that's going to all be in the bottom in what we'll call um what do they call it they call it anode sludge let me just grab something to move them around you want to try and keep steel things out of there as much as you can and i just realized bloody bucket handle I didn't think of the bucket handle because uh, you get this red colored stuff um, plate onto your copper sometimes and that's iron that's uh, ferrite iron so uh, see if we can't do a couple of things at once the camera and the super torch move this around a bit this one here had pins. All the pins, but a couple there. They're gone. So the other cool part about this is most of the rest of your CPU is actually copper. Look at the copper back plane. The heat sink portion of the back of your uh, CPU. These were just all gold covered a couple of days ago. It's not an instant process, but it doesn't need to be instant if you don't have to actually like watch it and manage it. So we just simply chucked all these CPUs in here, which I get out of my e-waste, generally for free. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is those copper foil? Oh, gold foils? Let me see if I can zoom in on that. See them just there. 
giant piece of gold foil. Yeah, every now and again, all you've got to do is move them around and make them contact a bit better with the uh, with the bit of stainless steel sheet here, and they will just roast away on a molecular level, losing uh, losing atoms just continuously. As it loses atoms, the copper is actually. Let's give me an idea. I want to bend one of these with a channel in the center of it. The copper disappears, but the gold sits up on the stainless steel plate, which would be even better. Um, trying to find some heavy duty mesh that's got a fine screen in it. That'll do the same thing. Yeah, that's, that's gold foil right there. Decent piece too. There's a heap of little gold specks on the plate there. I might need to get some plastic utensils like tweezers or something or like a pair of plastic pliers and uh, just to move these pieces around in here just just for that sake the sake of that the other thing i've done oh it doesn't like the white light i'm trying to try a different light hang on the problem with super powerful leds is they're normally pulse width What's this one like? No, we're good. Okay. Not good. There you go. See the flakes on the mesh screen on the right hand side? All I did was stick the CPU in this uh, paper filter. It's a spray painting filter, they call them a party hat. You put your, um, or you paint through this into your spray gun. All I did was put the CPU on that clamp in here and I held it there for less than a minute we had flakes falling off on this side of the screen also tipped some through here that are scooped up and we've got some in the bottom of there a bit hard to see because it's a bit of a rusty color so there was a lot of copper I tipped a bunch of copper from this gold pan through there this gold pan's actually got Gold flakes in it. There's one I picked out and put on the side before. And they're all from CPUs from anyway. So, you've got a bit of time and space. You're certainly going to be able to uh, get some results out of this. You see the um, cathode is a really dark colour there. Now, that's okay because um, even though that copper's burnt, a lot of that will actually brush back off into the copper sulfate solution. When we brush it back off into the copper sulfate solution, it just, just lives in there forever. And um, when I plate it again, I can plate it off slowly uh, with the voltage in that really low. That'll prevent it from uh, burning up on there. I normally do about three, three to five volts, depending on what, um, what happens. I've got a bit more of this stainless, so I'm actually thinking about having... This one over here is a high voltage, high current, like an agitator. And then I might put one over here that's like a low voltage and use a common negative. If I have a low voltage one over here with a common negative, we'll actually plate over to this one all the time. And that one over there can just be used to get the ball rolling, if that makes sense. You've really got to get it, um, get it bubbling in there sometimes to get uh, any kind of noticeable results in a time frame. But... That being said, keep the iron out of there. So I'm going to have to pull that bucket out because that bucket's got an iron handle. Looks to be galvanized though because it's putting up a fair fight. And we need to get some tweezers or even a, make a sniping bottle like they use for gold recovery in like rivers and out of their gold pans. There's little gold flakes on that board everywhere. On that bit of stainless. I didn't realize there's that many separated already. Then we need to make a little jar to put all them in. And once we've got a decent collection, we'll either do a gold precipitation uh, through like the nitric, nit nitric method until we get ourselves a little bead, or we might even try and do it by fire. Um, we've got the ability to put it in a furnace. We've got a furnace that'll go well and truly hot enough to do gold. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's not probably not the most exciting thing, but it is... I'm turning 
stuff that people throw in the bin into gold in my backyard. So I don't know. I think it's pretty exciting. The fact that this is in landfills and one day we'll be mining landfills to find this. Pretty cool. If you're still here, find me on Rumble. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, my Rumble videos will generally be similar to my YouTube videos, but they will be uncensored. So we can... All those stupid little bits that you have to edit out for YouTube and things like that. We can go silly with on Rumble. But, uh, yeah. See how we go. They monetized my platform over there the other day, so... Um, you will get ads, but uh, it means we can continue spending money on making videos. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching me on YouTube as well. And uh, let's uh, let's get some gold out of this stuff. I'll uh, Next video, I'll show you the pile of CPUs I've got laying around. Catch you in the next one.